happy today, I feel like there's no end. <laughs> so human. from that train spotting area in Akiba. I'm actually going to the trains right now. <laughs> Hang on. As I was saying, I don't think I'm too far from M-A-A-C-H, March, March, EQ, where you can watch trains. Uh, so I'm going to stop by. Actually, I think this is a... Uh, the building but I'm just on the wrong side of it. Gonna hold on for so oh gosh that doesn't even work hi 
Well, I guess we'll talk from far away. That's okay, right? This is the part where I show you what I got at Mandarake and also the part where I shuffle with plastic while I'm speaking so that no one hears me, apparently. Uh. Damage was done. Let me tell you that. But I bought things... How do I explain? I don't think it's difficult to explain, but somehow my brain is not working. Maybe from the sugar high from that Starbucks drink, who knows. Uh, I bought things that uh, were nostalgic to me. Um, <laughs> I haven't, I didn't bring any, any books with me when I came to Tokyo. I left all my manga behind and even previously to moving to Japan, I had sold a lot of my manga, like all my teenage manga I sold mostly because I needed the money and the space but I definitely, definitely regret selling them uh, even though I'm sure I can get them like a digital digital version or something I don't own a Kindle but I, I do want to own a Kindle <sighs> Can I stay on track? Probably not um, <laughs> I regret selling my teenage uh, manga so I bought some even though they're in Japanese but I told myself that I can probably, I can probably read them try and read them, decipher them, and just enjoy the art because that's one of the main reasons why I love manga so much. Sure, the story is it's a good selling point, but the art, the art, especially for the Yazawa Ai books, yes, I bought Nana. I, I have a feeling I may have bought this already last time I was at Mandarake in 2017. I want to say 2017. I'm not sure I bought the first volume. Does it matter? It doesn't because I don't have it with me and this was only 400 yen so it's like 3 euro? 3, 3 euro 50? Maybe less? Hey Siri! How much is 400 yen to euro? 400 Japanese yen is 2 euros and 80 cents. 2 euro and 80 cents? 2 euro and 80 cents for a book. Second hand book? I think second hand. Mandarake is second hand, right? I call it Mandarake, some people call it Mandrake. Then. Pretty good quality. I know Nana's art changes drastically throughout the series. Well, drastically. It's still Yazoi. By the way, if you're not interested in art or manga or anything, this is really going to be boring for you because I can go on and on about this. But it does change drastically from like the beginning where she does this more mature style and then throughout she goes back to kind of her not old style because obviously artists evolve, but she goes back to more a mix between maybe Denshi manga janai and nana <laughs> basically um but yeah even like from the start of it and to the end of it there's already a difference of in the first volume i mean but i'm looking forward to to reading this i've barely practiced reading vertically so that will be interesting <laughs> And also there's Nana on Netflix, on Japanese Netflix, but there are no English subtitles so I have been trying to work on my listening skills. Not going very well, not gonna lie. Also bought, they didn't have the first volume so I just had to try and guess which volume, what happened in this volume. This is one, probably the one I regret the most selling. I sold most of my... Wataru? 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 Oh, of course I cannot read the name of the <laughs> of the author because I cannot read the kanji. I feel like it was like something like Wataru Yoshizumi Yoshizumi Wataru or something like that. Uh, I had a whole bunch of manga by this author and it was so good and I regret selling them. Uh, but I mainly regret selling. Actually, I do regret selling most for sure. But, um, Marmalade Boy was one of my very first 
she's <laughs> very first manga series that I owned. Camera battery is flashing. Um, so let's see. I hope it shows a good volume. It doesn't look like anything spicy happens. So by spicy, I mean like teenage spicy, like they kiss for the first time or something. But I thought a certain a certain scene was going to happen in this one. Doesn't look like it's happening. Darn it! I should have chosen the previous one. <laughs> oh, they still hug. So it's still pretty cute. Spoiler alert. <laughs> it's old, yo. These are old. These are. Does it say in what year it was published? Probably before I was born. Could be. Oh, don't, don't know where they, where they would say that. I guess I'll have to look it up. Somebody is being especially loud. In the. Not, not before I was born. 1995. Wataru Yoshizumi. Is that what I say? Yoshizumi Wataru? I hope so. That would give me points. So, volume 6 of Marmalade Boy. So, I'll have to try and remember what happens in the previous ones. But I read them so many times as a teenager, it was mad. And then I got the special collector's edition of Chris Basket. They were the, the small ones like these. But I thought, you know what, let's just. Blurge, and I don't know how many volumes in these, but it's pretty sweet. This one was a little more expensive, it was 600 yen. Actually, I keep forgetting about tax, it's something I keep on forgetting that it's not like tax included. So, 660 yen, uh, I believe. Um, yeah, so this is less expensive than the original price. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy about that. <laughs> love, love, love Fruit Basket. Love the the new anime adaptation. Oh, I see. Yeah, it is second hand. It's a little dirty on the cover. Fine by me. I just want to read. As long as inside there are no torn pages. Also, that's another manga where the art changed drastically from the beginning from the start of the series to the end of the series. Uh, beginning is so, it's much more shoujo and towards the end it changes quite drastically, but I like both styles, I think. I'm gonna try and hurry up because this is the one I really want to show you. It was the expensive one, I think, actually. So Nana was 400, Marmalade Boy was 200 yen, so it's probably like cents. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. What's 200 yen to euro? 200 Japanese yen is 1 euro and 40 cents. 1 euro and 40 cents for a friggin' book. It would be like 7 or 14 euros uh, in Belgium, I think, for a new, brand new manga. But this, this is the one I went around and around in circles in my head trying to figure out if I wanted it because it's 2,500 yen, so about 20 something euro for just a book, but it's a vintage 1994 uh, Dibon catalog uh, and of course it has one of I Yazawa I cover um, I'm talking like nonsense because I'm both trying to <laughs> talk to the camera before it dies out and um, I'll explain what this is but it's, it's just like a magazine um, but like with a whole bunch of uh, ongoing manga series we have some similar things like Spirou in, in Belgium and uh, most European countries I'm sure but I would just I would I would compare it to Spirou so let's see if it falls Ooh. Two pieces. Oh my god, this is all. Oh my god! It's Marmalade Boy! It's the one I wanted! It's the episode I wanted to buy, and it's here! 
it's here it's where it happened it's the same but obviously i didn't expect it to be printed like this i i've never seen one of these magazines in person so they're printed like on paper like this oh my god it's so exciting <laughs> So obviously also I probably don't know most of these series it's from 1994 but already I recognized uh, Marmalade Boy I don't know these don't, oh god the art this old school art is so interesting the big eyes like really huge they're like little comics and a lot of things I don't understand <gasps> it's Tenshinaka Janai it's <laughs> Which episode is this? It's one of the later ones. Oh, is it gonna cut out before anything interesting happens? Oh, I miss this one. Oh, yeah, it's in the fourth one. I think it's the fourth volume. Oh, I miss my books. Give me my books back. Okay, I'm way too excited uh, over this. It's. I don't like the texture because it's like newspaper. <laughs> I hate newspaper paper. But I'm genuinely excited about this purchase. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to read all of it. Hopefully that's the goal, but... I bought a 1994 Dibon catalog magazine kind of thing from New Year's. God, I wish they still had the gifts. Because it's really cute. It's, it's, it's Miki and you from Marmalade Boy. It's... Midori and the Pseudosaurus from Tenshinanka Janai. Like, jeez. I read these in my teenage years, but they were out like three years after my after I was born. So yeah. That much was done, but I think it was worth it. <laughs> what do you think? And let me know in the comments what your nostalgic cartoons or manga or anything like books from your teenage or childhood years that if you were to see them now you would be as excited as i am and probably buy everything <laughs>